Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lurch and welcome back to my Iron Man account. Uh, last episode, managed to get up to 70 prayer and finally get the Moritania Hard Diaries done. So, uh, you know what that means? It's time for some barrows. <laughs> I'm fucking keen as mustard to get going. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go. First on the agenda, I'm going to go ahead and try and upgrade my Ivan staff. Uh, I'm not really sure. Upgrade, please. Never actually done this before. 200k! Breaking the bank, but it's going to be well worth it. There we go. I'm pretty sure that is a diary. Yep, medium task done as well. Lovely. All right, first ever Barrow's chest. I've already freed out the good luck, so uh, yeah, it's pretty good that I'm getting Darok's legs first chest. Oh, imagine though. Chest number two. Oh, never mind. I'm going to search it first. Ah, uh, fuck all. You know what they say, third time's a charm. What do we got here? Oh, nice amount of deference. I'll take it. Number four. Oh, nice amount of deference. Sweet. Number five. Don't worry, I understand it gets very repetitive just recording Barrow's chest. So uh, I was just hoping I could snag an item uh, early on. But yeah, I won't bother recording all of them now. Um, just if I get a unique, I'll throw it on. Or, if, um, you know, I get a really nice amount of runes, I'll put that in too. Also, I just realized I never actually said the items that I was going for. Uh, I would really like... A tank body and legs so I can um, get on with something like Rex in the uh, near future because that would be very nice to get a Berserker ring sometime soon or um, obviously a Kirill top or uh, Aram's top and bottom would also be very nice. We're level 71 magic. Still yet to receive an item and this is my 16th chest which I'm pretty sure is the drop rate for an item but as you can see in my inventory I have a shitload of rooms so I'm pretty happy about that. Can I get lucky? Ah no good. All right, it's a new day. It's time for my new Aram top. <laughs> one day, one day. Chest number 18. Wow. Chest number 19. Oh, an elite clue. Nice. Well, I was not expecting that level. There is level 75 strength while doing this elite clue. So I managed to finish three steps on the elite. And the next step is actually to kill an Abbey spec, which I need 60 Slayer for. And I'm actually not too far off, sitting at 58 at the moment. And I was going to go do some Slayer, but I just refused to leave here without getting an item. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself an item, and then I'll go do the clue. Chest number 25. Thought it was sort of a uh, milestone-y. Still yet- holy shit, it's a lot of Chaos runes. Still yet to receive an item, but uh, I'll get there. I will get there. Burrow's chest number 26. Hey, there we go! First item! Pretty good one, too. Nice tank helm with some prayer bonus. Sweet. Have to do the mandatory sussing out of the helmet. Give it a look here. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I'm not even kidding when I say this either, but this is the exact reason why I made an Iron Man account. I mean, look at this setup. I got my, my Ceridome and Rune Plate legs, my Infinity Boots, Tome of Fire. I've got a fucking... I've got a blue dehyde gilded chest piece on with a Varax helm. Man, if this is an incentive to make an Iron Man account, I don't know what is. I mean, look at this hero. So next on the agenda is some Slayer, but I thought it'd be rude not to go for the back-for-back. Ah, -back. Uh, no good. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I did actually keep all the runes in my inventory that I've gained through Barrows. So that's 27 kill count. Um, I deposited all the death runes that I pulled out at the very start, which was... Where is it? 4,098. So this is all extras. So I got just over 2k death runes, 5k chaos. This is going to be really going to be good for the future for when I eventually go for an onyx because I'm going to sell all my chaos runes um, to the what to do bit store to get some tockle and buy an onyx. Um, a shitload of mine runes, which I guess will be good for I guess AFK splashing whenever I don't feel like whenever I feel like doing some AFK and just over 1k blood runes. So yeah, awesome. And if I recall correctly, I'm actually up to my 20th task. I'm going to go ahead and get that from Kona. What do we get? Oh, nice. Nice AFK task. Lovely. Just finished off my Dagonov task. Giving me 90 points, which is a nice boost. Uh, I got 71 attack about 10 minutes ago. Also picked up a Brimstone Key, which um, yeah, I haven't used before. So I'm going to go suss that out. Also got a Medium Clue and plenty of Insult Heads. Actually a really nice task. Alrighty, let's see what uh, I can get from this Brimstone Key. Oh dear, let's just unlock it, I guess. 271 raw lobsters. Alright. Cooking experience, I guess. Had to actually come to Neve for the medium clue, but I uh, might as well pick up a task while I'm here. 136 fire giants, alright, nice. Alright, he finished up the medium and also had a hard clue from Green Dragons uh, a couple of days ago. From the medium, 
Oh, nice armor page. I'll have to check that. And from the hard, oh, <laughs> Master Clue. Alrighty, and some really nice Alks. This is awesome. Needed the money. And some law rooms too. I'm going to just check the bank and see if this armor page is a unique or not. I only have one page in there at the moment. And it's the exact same one. <laughs> oh, well, can't win them all. And the first step of the Master Clue is to pickpocket an elf. So at least it done me on the first step and not the fourth. <laughs> see you later. Just missed a level, but there is 59 Slayer. One level to go. Missed a level once again because I'm a complete dickhead, but there is level 74 hit points. There is level 72 attack. And there we go, just hit level 60 Slayer. I'll just finish off this task at 92 left, and then I'll do that elite clue. Well, that is a random level. There is level 51 in runecrafting, and actually just got that from a dunce random. So, yeah, nice. And there we go, is the task complete? Time to get a wriggle on of that clue. So I was able to finish the Elite Clue. It's actually my first ever Elite on the account. A uh, Rune Crossbow would be really nice, but yeah, I think that's hoping a bit much. Anything is good. Holy shit. No way, there it is, Rune Crossbow. Oh, I was wondering how I was going to go about getting that, but uh, yeah, that is beautiful. Some nice elk, uh, nice elk there too with the Rune Plate body. That is a lovely first Elite. So for Tears of Guffix, I would rather it be on Runecrafting. So I went ahead and superheated some Mithril Ore, and there's level 51 Smithing. And same reasoning as the smithing, there is level 51 construction. So I'm at a stage now in my account where I actually need a fair bit of GP. There's a few things I'd like to spend it on, uh, one being Kingdom of Miscellania. I want to get that started so I can do a bit of fletching and also I would like to purchase some gold ore, which is very expensive to get my smithing up. It's currently only sitting at 51 and I'd like to get it to 59 because there are two medium diaries uh, being the Falador and Lumbridge. And uh, by doing both of those medium diaries, I actually get two really nice teleports to the, some herb patches. And uh, yeah, I want to keep up on my herb, herb runs because I haven't been doing it as much. And I actually have over 900 green dragon hides from when I got uh, 1000 dragon bones. So I'm going to go ahead and tan them all and do some agility and alking. And that should actually get me up to close to 1.5 mil, which will uh, definitely cover the costs that I... Uh, that I want to spend them on but um, at the moment I'm sitting at 62 crafting I just need one more level and I'll be able to craft the green dragon hide bodies alrighty there's level 63 time to craft these green dehyde bodies pretty monumental moment there is my first ever one mil cash stack on the iron man awesome and there we go just finished the last of my alks and it actually got me to 1.6 mil which is awesome so uh, yeah I think now it's time to get back to questing all right, he's got to finish up talking to this beast of a human that is King Vargas, and this should be the end of Throne of Miscellania. So uh, yeah, one quest down. Next one is, what have we got here? Royal Trouble. Stuffed up the recording, but I just finished Royal Trouble, and uh, yeah, I've just thrown in 900k into my kingdom now, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw a lot on Teak, just for construction, XP down the line. Uh, also some maples just for fletching, because fletching is really low at the moment, only sitting at 52, and yeah, I'd like to get it up a bit. And then, uh, yeah, just the rest on herbs. So I'll leave that for a long time and, yeah, see how it goes. Bit of a random level coming in, but there is level 70 fishing. Alrighty, just finished up buying all the gold ore that I'll need for 59 smithing. Uh, rest in peace to the cash stacks. <laughs> I'm sitting at 136k now, which is probably all going to go in the coffer. I might actually need to get some more money as this goes along. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you back with 59 smithing. 52. 53. 54. Level 55 smithing and also 1550 total level. 56, 57, 58, only one to go. And there we go, there's level 59 smithing, which I did need for the Lumbridge medium diaries and also the Ardoon medium diaries. But uh, I'm an idiot and didn't realize that apart from 59 smithing, I also need 59 fletching, which I do not have. But as I did show earlier, I do have the um, some maples going in my kingdom so i'm going to leave that for a little while and i'll get to those diaries probably next episode if not the one after that but uh yeah i've got a lot of gold bars now and with these i'm going to think i'm i think i'll turn some into jewelry and the rest i think i'll go ahead and put them into gold bracelets just a little bit of crafting xp but they also out for 330 gp each i got close to 3k gold bars there so yeah it should be a nice bit of money and a nice bit of agility xp when i get around to it have a beginner casket from fishing earlier hopefully unique Oh, I thought I did get one then. <laughs> oh, well, unlucky. And there's the weekly rune crafting done. Should be another level here, hopefully. Yep, level 52. Just making some gold bracelets, and there is level 65 crafting. 
Hello there, it has been a long time since I've recorded anything on RuneScape, probably close to two months now, and I do apologise for that, I've just had some pretty uh, some pretty major dramas going on in real life, I just haven't really felt like playing the game at all. But uh, I do I really hope to get back in the swing of things, I've done a little bit of skilling, uh, mainly just fish, well, only fishing, fishing in tiers of Guffix, and speaking of fishing, BAM, there is level 80 fishing, which is very nice, so yeah, I've hit 10 fishing levels. And then just a couple of little ones, like I think I've got two construction, one room crafting, like one agility, just small ones. But yeah, I really want to get back in the swing of things, get back to my dailies. Uh, my kingdom would be horrendous now because I have not been keeping up the day with it. So for some reason, my microphone was not working, but there is my 20th for Spory Kill. Unfortunately, still no bottomless compost bucket, but I did hit level 81 farming, so I can now plant dragon fruit seeds, and I'm pretty sure I have some in the bank. So I went ahead and checked my kingdom and actually got way more maples than I intended on getting. So I'm hoping, I'm actually not too sure, but I'm hoping that'll get me to 59 fletching so then I can make myself a mithril crossbow as I do need that for a couple of different medium diaries. Also a lot of teaks for construction, uh, not a great amount of, where's renars? Uh, 10 renars, not too bad. And uh, over 50 birds nests, so yeah, not bad at all. I've got no money in there at the moment, so uh, I'm gonna have to go try and make some soon. So while I was fishing, I actually got a few clues, and I uh, just finished up with the caskets, so let's see what we get. Hopefully some uniques. Oh, that's definitely a unique. Rune Simi Ornament Kit for Saradoma, nice. I will take it, now the easy. I believe it's another unique? Oh, well, I'm already stoked on the first two, so I don't really mind what the next two are going to be. Yet another, I think. Oh, actually, I actually might already have that. But, uh, oh, Lunar Roll, at least. Very nice. And the hard... For a master and a red cavalier. Wow, okay, that was really good for clues. It'd be rude not to have a look at this semi ornament kit, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. Well, it looks pretty cool in the um, in the inventory. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Probably not number one choice I would have picked, but it still looks pretty cool. So I started doing my master clue, and the first step is actually to get a Tazar Ket Om, also known as Obi Maul. And I need 65,000 topple to do that. I've sold a fair bit of my Chaos Runes and I've got to, I believe it's 48,000. So I still need about 2,500 Chaos Runes, which I was going to do through um, Barrows. But then I realised, now I now have my Rune Crossbow. But I, I got Mithril Bolts in the bank, but I can't actually make them. I need 54 Fletching to be able to make them and it'd be help me out a lot at um, Aram. So what I think I might do is get the Fletching levels. Go to Barrows, get the Chaos Runes, hopefully get some drops, and then buy the Obby Maul <laughs> just to do a first step of a Master Clue. It'll all be worth it, but because I'll need it eventually anyway. There's level 53 Fletching. There is level 54 Fletching. And my first chest back at Barrows. Well, that's what I was going for, Chaos Runes. I will take it. Barrows chest number 30. Oh, unlucky. Bit of a random place to be getting it, but I should be hitting level 72 magic. Very nice. It's another random level right there, but 73 attack off the blood worm. Just finishing up with barrows for the day. I've currently done 15 chests, and this will bring me to a total of 42 barrows chests. <laughs> 12 GP, wow. That is the uh, the rest of the chaos runes that I was looking for. Unfortunately, still only one item in 42 chests, but... Uh, you know, we'll get there. I will be back here again because I do need a tank body and legs for DKs in the future for a Zerka ring. So I just about have all the toggle I need. Only a tiny bit more now. There we go. 6,500. Now I'm going to get mosey on up here. Talk to me, mate, at the weapons store. I believe it's up here. Where are you? Here he is. Go ahead and buy myself an Obby Mall. And there we go. So hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully I can do the second step on the master. At least got the first step down. Alrighty, so I thought shit had hit the fan with the second clue step, but it turns out not. I actually need 85 farming to get into the northern end of the farming guild. Currently sitting only at 81 at the moment, so I thought, oh well, four levels, so you know, it's not going to happen. But, turns out you can get a boost to get in there. Now, I refuse to get spicy stews just because I fucking ate them. But, a garden pie actually boosts your farming by free, so I only need one level. And that, uh, that will come eventually, I'm 188k off, but, you know, not too far away. So I'm going to hold on to this master clue for now, do a few other things, and then hopefully get to the clue uh, within this week at some point. So speaking of farming XP, here's another Hespori kill, number 21, still searching for that bucket. Oh, I'll take some watermelon seeds, that'll do. So seeing as I'm getting back into farming, I decided to go mine some volcanic ash just to get some uh, ultra compost. Actually managed to get myself a beginner clue geode, so yeah, here is the reward. <laughs> well, okay. 
Thanks for the teleports back. So the day finally came, it finally happened. It has cracked over 100, well over 100 actually, to be honest. Giant seaweed from one run. Do you see weed runs, guys? Do you see weed runs? 123, that's crazy. And just to put that into perspective, that's actually 738 soda ash for about two to three minutes work. That is ridiculous. So this is one of the more random things I've done, and it's a pretty pointless grind, but uh, one that I actually really wanted to do. Who do I speak to? I'm talking to the wrong person. I actually want to recolor my graceful blue for 250 tickets. Uh, you must have a full set. Oh, need to put it in my inventory. No worries. Sorry about that. Obviously. Now, yeah, this is almost definitely useless, but um, God damn, does it look good. Oh yes, tell me that doesn't just, that's just not fucking baller status right there. <sighs> I'm not going to get those hours of my life back, but uh, I have this blue graceful forever. Isn't that right, Posty Pete? So I really want to knock out the Lumbridge and Draenor Medium Diaries and also the Artie Medi Medium Diaries. Just so I can do my herb runs more efficiently. And all I need now is I have all the other requirements done. I've just finished them all off. I just need 59 fletching to make myself a Mithril Grapple. I can actually get them both done. So I'm just going to quickly smash out uh, five fletching levels, which I definitely have banked after getting all those maples from Kingdom. And then, yeah, get a wriggle on with the diaries. And there's level 55, which is actually a really nice level because it can now make broad bolts along with uh, turning these short bows into maple long bows now as well. But yeah, those broad bolts, I'll definitely be making them in the future. All right, it's finally time to get these massive epic speed drops. God, I love coming here. And this should be, hopefully, yep, this should be, or will be, level 82 farming no unlocks unfortunately but i do unlock that next clue step so uh, that'll be up next so as expected i hit an, another roadblock on the next step but one that is also doable in the near future and for the first item i need is arc light and i'm currently sitting at 73 yeah 73 attack and i need 75 to wield it i do have all the items needed so i will hold on to that because i'm going to get back into slayer soon which will boost me up to that attack level and um, the second item being the Amulet of the Damned, which you can get through the Shade Catacomb, something I've never done, but I have seen it done. So uh, I will look up a guide on that soon, and uh, yeah, hopefully finish this goddamn clue off. Probably not, but uh, getting closer. Alrighty, so I looked up a guide on these Shade Catacombs, and it's actually not too difficult at all. I uh, picked up seven keys, I've already used a few of them. Did get a hard clue, which I didn't even know they dropped. But uh, yeah, it's 1 in 15, the Amulet of the Damned, so hopefully I can get lucky. Hopefully, hopefully, one more. Nah, unfortunate. I'll have to come back, but yeah, it seems pretty easy. Ah, there it is in the inventory. Accidentally skipped the message, but the amulet of the damned. <laughs> I got it right on drop rate, but gee, it felt like it was forever. So um, next is 75 attack. I thought I might as well use a couple of the other keys. I kept one just in case for whatever reason I need to go back there for a clue. Or, I, I got no idea. Just in case. I'm a hoarder. I don't want to throw stuff out. But I actually picked up another one. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of bank value at least. 170k. Not too bad. Also, just for anyone interested in the collection log, that is actually Shades of Morton complete. Three out of three. So yeah, nice. I'll never have to worry about this ever again. And there we go, there's level 75 attack, as well as 76 strength and 75 hit points. So that probably, yep, put me over 94 combat as well, very nice. Just finishing up with the clue step, finally snagged myself Arclight, looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Now let's see if I can do this next step, hey? What have we got? Hmm, I think I can do that. So luckily enough, I was able to complete the clue at Zalandra. Now this is my fifth step and potentially a final step. Would be nice, but uh, one can only dream. Ah, another step. What have we got? Um, also a doable one. Very nice. So believe it or not, I was actually able to complete that master clue at level 94 combat. I got very lucky with no skill requirements apart from that farming one. And also had an easy and a hard in my bank, so I thought I might as well do them. So for the easy... Yep, as expected. Hard. And some nice money. Very nice money. And now the master, I can't really be upset. Anything, any little bit of money I'm happy with. Oh, <laughs> nice. Sort of darkness, a nice unique, and a Zemi page. Very good. Worth a lot, actually. And there is the second Zemi page to the collection. <laughs> I didn't actually notice till I dropped them because I was just going to get rid of them. But they actually trim studded chaps. So uh, that is a unique to the collection log. Very nice. 
Picked up an eclectic while I was doing a farm run. Here is the medium clue. Ah, pretty shit ass. So it's time to get back to fletching and there's level 56. 57. 58. And there's level 59. Time to get back to diaries. Just finished with the Lumbridge and Draenor medium diaries. And actually gives me this nice ring right here which three times a day will do teleport me to just south of the Falador farm patch. So yeah, really, really close compared to what I was doing, which was just teleporting to Falador and running all the way down. Also, nice little lamp, which should get me a Herblot level, I believe. Yep. Level 61. Any unlocks? Magic's Essence Mix. Nice. Accidentally stuffed the recording up, but I did just finish all the medium tasks in the RD Diary, and I now do have this cloak, which teleports me directly to the RD farm. I think it's free, yep, down in the chat box, three times a day, same as the ring, so really useful. Also from the diary, I now get more runes from ZMI when I do some ZMI rune crafting in the future. And also there's one more thing, what is it? Hang on, give me one second. And I also get a 10% increased chance to pickpocket anyone in Ardoon, so it'll be very useful for Ardy Knights if I plan to do that in the future, which I think I will because I do have that Rogue Steny outfit. Just finish up with my 23rd Hespori kill. Unfortunately, still no bottomless compost bucket, but I believe the drop rate is 1 in 35, so you will get there soon, hopefully depending on my RNG. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, as for next time, I do actually have some pretty big plans. I would like to train my construction up by a fair bit, just to get it away from runecrafting, because I would really just like to train my runecrafting through tiers of Guffix, and I don't want to have to compete with construction. And as we all know, construction cost bank. So I would like to do a lot of Slayer and make a fair bit of cash. Also probably go back to Barrows, maybe go for a Berserker Ring, depending on my luck at Barrows. If I can get some tank legs and body, and if I get a dag enough to ask, never know, might be the go. But without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one.